to all my viewers. Let us discuss today about vitamin D, the sunshine vitamin, its health benefits and side effects. Vitamin D, the super nutrient, also known as the sunshine vitamin, is surrounded by mystery and confusion and is linked to many benefits from bone health to immune boosting. If you are light skinned with little pigment just exposing the body to the sun for 15 minutes is all that is required and oral supplementation is not essential. Dark skinned people have a problem. The thick dark pigmented layer of melanin in the skin will prevent the ultraviolet rays of the sun from penetrating through the skin and the chances of skin synthesizing vitamin D is questionable. They need to expose their bodies for about 45 minutes daily. Studies have shown that the vitamin D level goes down during the rainy season from August to October in Sri Lanka and the rainfall is heavy and quite gloomy due to clouds covering the skies. Surveys have been done by taking blood samples for 25 hydroxy vitamin D levels. The sun's ultraviolet B rays or UVB interacts with the protein called 7-dehydrocholesterol in the skin, converting it into vitamin D3, the active form of vitamin D. Most dietary supplements are manufactured by exposing a plant sterile to ultraviolet energy producing vitamin D2. Vitamin D2 is also called ergocalciferol and vitamin D3 is called cholecalciferol and alpha calcidol. Vitamin D3 is only found in animal source foods and also formed in our skin whereas vitamin D2 comes from plant sources and fortified foods. How do vegans get their quota of vitamin D? Vegans and other vegetarians who limit their intake of animal products may be at greater risk of vitamin D deficiency than non-vegetarians because foods providing the highest amount of vitamin D per gram naturally are all from animal sources and fortified with vitamin D in foods. Cereal and milk replacements fortified with vitamin D are the two of the best sources of dietary vitamin D for vegans in addition to exposing themselves to the sunlight and taking supplements. Living on a plant-based diet, you should eat mushrooms exposed to UV light, fortified foods and supplements. What part do the humble banana play in vitamin D metabolism? Bananas are a great source of magnesium which plays an important role in activating vitamin D in the body. Magnesium assists in the activation of vitamin D which helps regulate calcium and phosphate homeostasis to influence the growth and maintenance of bones. If your magnesium intake is high, you are less likely to have a vitamin D insufficiency than people whose magnesium levels are low. Magne magnesium is required for the conversion of vitamin D into its active form calcitriol in the liver so sufficient intake of magnesium is important for this activation. So you will realize that magnesium is one of several essential minerals your body needs to play, stay healthy and function as it should. Unconverted vitamin D can increase your calcium levels rather than regulate them as they should. Too much vitamin D can increase calcium levels which in turn can lead to certain health complications. 
Vitamin D2 is indicated for rickets, hypoparathyroidism, and familial hypophosphatemia. Vitamin D supplements do not reduce cancer incidence and is not a cure against COVID-19 infection as revealed at one stage. It is important to stress mushrooms exposed to sun contains high levels of vitamin D2. Medicinal mushrooms are used as medicine. They have been used in China and Japan for centuries in cancer hospitals. They are used alone or combined with radiation or chemotherapy. So if any of your friends suffer from any form of cancer, advise them to eat mushrooms daily in their food. In China, reishi mushrooms having antioxidant properties and enhancing immune responses containing complex sugars known as beta-glucans are given to cancer patients. This compound helps to stop growth and spread of cancer. The most vitamin D is found in shiitake given to cancer patients in Japanese, Japanese hospitals daily to enhance their immune system. Sources of vitamin D3 are oily fish and fish oil, liver, egg yolk, butter and dietary supplements. You can overdo overdose your vitamin D2 from foods and supplements and not from D3 produced in your skin. If your body has enough, the skin will produce less. What a wonderful system. If you work indoors daily or during winter months in temperate climates, you need to eat plenty of food rich in vitamin D2. Most studies have shown that vitamin D3 is more effective than vitamin D2 at raising blood levels of calcifediol. Calcifediol is a form of vitamin D produced in the liver by hydro hydroxylation of vitamin D3 by an enzyme. Calcitriol is a form of vitamin D3 helping your body absorb calcium from the stomach. Vitamin D is important for the absorption of calcium from your gut for protection of your bones and teeth. Why vitamin D is so good for your body? Improves your body's calcium absorption. Calcium levels have an influence on how you absorb magnesium. Enables your immune system to function properly, protecting you from illness, illnesses such as common cold. Regu regulates your blood pressure. Aids in growth and development of bones and teeth helps keep muscles healthy. What are the symptoms of vitamin D deficiency? Aching and weakened bones, weak muscles, feeling depressed, increased vulnerability for coughs and colds and gut problems. Always think of vitamin D deficiency and get blood samples checked for vitamin D. Both vitamin D2 and D3 are both absorbable and the body can process both forms. Vitamin D3 is a preferred form as it can be obtained from the sun through the skin. It is available at the chemist in tablets, capsules and oral spray forms. They are all effective equally. Now what are the side effects of vitamin D taken in excess? Though vitamin D is important for good health, being a fat soluble vitamin can accumulate in your body if you take too much to the toxic levels. Vitamin D intoxication occurs when the blood levels rise above 150 ng per mil. Being fat soluble, it is retained 
and stored in your body. Even after you stop taking toxic doses, it may take months to get rid of the vitamin D after stopping the supplements. Taking just adequate doses will help boost immunity and protect you from diseases like osteoporosis and cancer. It is important to check your vitamin D2 level at least once a year. If you are not exposed to the sun daily for about 15 to 20 minutes, and even if the levels are not checked, it is worthwhile taking a vitamin D2 supplement. Elderly people, infants and obese people, and those in areas not much exposed to the sun should have fortified foods with vitamin D. When vitamin D is taken in excessive amounts, blood calcium may reach levels that cause symptoms that are not only unpleasant but dangerous. Now, symptoms of toxicity of calcium. You could get dizzy turns, vomiting, stomach pains, excessive thirst and frequent urination. The normal level of calcium is 8.5 to 10.2 milligrams per deciliter. You could have sleep problems with high vitamin D levels due to high melatonin production in the pineal gland in the brain with high levels of vitamin D in your blood. In conclusion, this video talk explains the importance of checking your vitamin D level in your blood and how magnesium is important for its metabolism and how it affects your calcium metabolism. Hope this talk was useful. Stay safe and goodbye for now.